Hi everybody, welcome back to The Sims 4. This is going to be a bit of a different one. Um, it's going to be a bit of a short one, unfortunately. Uh, I've got a couple of things that I want to show you, though, and a couple of things I want to talk to you about. Um, so here we go. Uh, I'm in The Sims. I want to show you something in The Sims uh, that I'm probably not going to be able to show you uh, in the actual playthrough, like the Bateman Chronicles playthrough, uh, because I sort of want to just like stick to gameplay. Uh, but I thought for this, uh, we could take a look at some of the stuff that people in the hashtag Sips community have been making for The Sims 4. It's incredible. Uh, I mean, this is mostly for people that don't actually own the game and, and might not have any way of seeing this stuff. Uh, and then, of course, if you do own the game and you want to download some of this stuff, knock yourself out. There's some good shit to look at. Uh, we'll look at that. Um, I'll give you like a little bit of an update later and uh, maybe we can look at some of the fan art that's uh, currently circulating the subreddit uh, mainly and Tumblr about good old Tony Bateman. It's gonna be great. Okay, uh, let's get into The Sims then. I'm gonna magically like shrink into the corner. Boo! I think. It's amazing, isn't it? It's like magic. It doesn't like magic. All right, oh, well, here we go. Let's uh, let's take a look at The uh, Sims. So I'm just on the, on the start screen right now. Uh, I can jump into the actual game. And we're in Tony's hometown now, Oasis Springs. See, Tony Bateman lives in the, this crappy sort of little bungalow. There he is down in the bottom right. <laughs> Tony Bateman uh, is uh, is down there just sort of uh, glaring at all of us. Now, uh, I got this button here to open the gallery. See, I can go into this gallery. Uh, and I guess this is the same for like all the other Sims games. Uh, but this one uh, is, is no exception, I guess. Uh, you can do most of this stuff anyway. Uh, this is where you share your creations with the world. And it seems to be a little bit more sort of streamlined into the game than in previous games anyway. Um, hit the check. Fine. Welcome to the gallery. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all these fucking tutorial shit tips come up, which is fine. Um, and and this feed here. So we can see, like, that people are following stuff and everything. Uh, basically, if I want to look at, look at all this, look at the Star Wars stuff. Look at that. Look at Darth Vader. Darth Vader and the Sims. Crazy. Okay, so if I go to Community... I go to this community tab at the top, and I go to hashtag, okay? Go to hashtag, and I enter in sips. See, I got this, like, sips hashtag. This is all stuff that people have been making for The Sims 4 in the community. So, like, in the subreddit, uh, like, on Twitter and stuff like that. I mean, if you don't follow me on Twitter, or if you're not part of the subreddit, that's fine, too. That's why this video is here. This is going to hopefully go out to the most possible people that, like, follow my channel. Uh, and that's the point. So let's take a look. We're going to take a look at what's under the... Wow. Look at this. Look at all these things. <laughs> look at all these cool things that people have made already. Uh, for instance, we've got Ho 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 here. Look at this guy. It's Ho Ho Ho. We can look at his portrait. We can see that he's a chef. Uh, he's like outgoing and stuff. He's self-assured. He's a glutton. Larry Dixon. Larry Dixon is a guy who's wearing like a dress shirt. With a tie and he's got a mohawk. Uh, we've, got, we've got Sniffer here. Where's Sniffer? There. Sniffer, of course, with the silver mustache. Does look a little bit strung out as well, you know. <laughs> sort of wearing like a bit of like a, a Rastafarian uh, bubble vest and uh, and some sort of like scully. It's like, or is that a bike helmet? It's hard to tell. Anyway, <laughs> it's a chief of mischief and enjoys uh, the outdoors and ponds and marshes, especially. Uncle Phil? Huh? If you ever wanted Uncle Phil to live in your house, here you go. It's Uncle Phil. Looks just like him. I mean, maybe he could have done with being a bit bigger, uh, but that's okay. Um, I mean, on the topic of big, we also have Big Girl here, who is enormous. <laughs> Look at the size of her. Jesus! God, only these real thighs can please the best guy. Fantastic. Um, so, you got uses items from these packs. So, you need to have, like, the Life of the Party pack digital content, which if you bought, like, the digital online super deluxe edition with the no law enforcement thing enabled, uh, you you'll have it. Uh, but basically for any of these, and I mean, there's lots of them. Look, some people have made, like, the entire Yogg's cast. There's Lewis and me and Duncan and what looks to be... Is that meant to be Kim? <laughs> Look at oh my god, holy shit. I don't know if that is actually meant to be Kim or it's just like some sort of like 
uh, I don't know, random child. But look at Lewis. Holy shit, looking dapper. Duncan? My god. And, of course, pretty Margaret. What? <laughs> Whoa, that is amazing. Okay, great. So, I mean, if you want, so if you have this game and you want to download these, all you got to do is click on this. You just click on this to download uh, these um, models or whatever. There's all sorts of shit. You can uh, look at this. Chain? 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 I have no fucking idea. Anyway, uh, you just click on this, you download it, and then uh, you can move uh, these people into your town. So, some of these people will be featuring in the series uh, um, eventually. If you want to make your own guys uh, and share them with the community, by all means, do it. It'll be great. Uh, if, they're, if they're really good, sort of like Big Girl and like Pretty Margaret and stuff, I will definitely download them uh, and, uh, and move them in. I'm not saying the rest of them are bad. The rest of them are very good, but there's only limited space, so I gotta pick the best ones. Um, so there you go. That's it. That's uh, what I wanted to show you. I had a really good laugh looking at it yesterday, uh, and I hope you have too. Uh, it's quite fun seeing the kind of stuff that people come up with, and of course, I very much appreciate the fact that you guys are putting stuff together uh, so that I can potentially download it and put it into my playthrough as well. That's going to be real nice. Well, uh, while we're here, and while I have your undivided attention, hopefully, um, let's talk about fan art. Holy crap. There is so much fan art. <laughs> popping up around Tony Bateman uh, and it's my fault I requested fan art uh, because I want to make like the wall of shame or like the hall of shame or the showroom of shame or everybody's got like some idea of how this thing is going to work uh, I have some sort of vague idea of how it's going to work but I'm not too sure yet but man there is some great shit out there I've got an inbox full of fan art uh, which is amazing thanks very much keep it coming uh, and reddit and the subreddit the um, slash r slash sips subreddit has exploded uh, in just like this fury of sort of uh, clown colors all off the back of Tony Bateman. Uh, people seem to really like drawing him um, taking one of his signature dumps, which is a good thing, uh, which is really nice. Um, let's look at some of the honorable mentions. There's lots. I mean, I could, ne I could never cover it all in one video, but there are a couple of the ones that actually genuinely uh, made me laugh, uh, gave me a chuckle. I'll show it to you right now to give you an idea. If you're not part of slash r slash sips, all your buds are waiting there for you. You should come and join in the fun. It's a great community. I have a lot of fun. Lots of like funny images and good discussions. Sometimes, do we actually ever discuss anything? It's hard to tell. Uh, first up, let us look at this one. This is untitled and it's by a Redditor named Verizon. Okay? What's the rush? <laughs> Take a seat. This is of course Tony Bateman um, sitting down to pee and getting it all wrong by sitting in a <laughs> urinal and sort of getting angry at somebody who's decided to stand up at the urinal, which is what you're supposed to do. I mean, I've heard that sometimes they put urinals in, um, in female bathrooms and they're allowed to poop in them, uh, but I don't know if that's a lie or not. It could be that it's a lie, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense. If you're in a rush and you don't want to get fully into like that cubicle, you know, close and lock the door and have privacy and stuff, just go in the urinal, it's fine. Nope, nobody's gonna judge you. Everybody's in the same boat. When you're in the bathroom, everybody's in the same boat. It's fine. Next up, uh, this is by Redditor Malice Pontifex, uh, and it's called The Lament of Tony Bateman. Uh, as you can see, Tony Bateman is hard at work producing some art, uh, and it's uh, some aspirational art of him in the law enforcement career. Uh, which doesn't exist in the game currently uh, but he would like to pretend that he is going to be a cop one day and who knows maybe uh, in a future DLC he will be able to become a cop but for now he's going to be the best artist and painter in the world and what a great image look at this really reflects that as well all right next up uh, this is one by uh, Hotaru Fox uh, and this is the best that he could whip up in a short amount of I mean, it's just, it is actually just a picture of me uh, with clown paint on my face. Um, and it says, big simoleons, big romance, big art. Uh, and cleverly, he's sort of like made uh, my hoodie into like a, like a clown stripe color. Like the photoshopping skills are phenomenal, let's, let's be honest. Um, and my little patches of hair are all pink. 
and I've got really cool shades on and stuff. I mean, this is pretty much standard. <laughs> this is like bog standard stuff for the subreddit. These are the kind of images you see all the time. Uh, but this one w was, a, was a notable exception. It's a very good one. Um, so there you go. That's, uh, that's, that, that's that one. Okay, next up. Uh, by Red Dead 89 <laughs> titled, <laughs> lovingly titled, Sorry guys, I can't draw feet. Uh, you'll probably notice that the feet are actually cut off. Uh, and this is like some sort of homage to uh, Buffalo Bill uh, from... Um, <laughs> I can't look at it. It's just like in my peripheral vision and I cannot look at it without cracking up. It's, uh, it's Silence of the Lambs, Buffalo Bill. Uh, being portrayed by Tony Bateman. Very generous with the bait. I can't, I can't look at it. All right, Melee 17. Melee 17. Everybody seems to be obsessed with the fact that Tony Bateman sits down to pee. Uh, he's not necessarily shitting. He's mostly just peeing, uh, but decides to sit down to do it. Uh, this one's called A Late Night Call to Eduardo. Uh, and as we can see, Tony Bateman uh, wearing full clown paint with a picture of Eduardo hanging on the wall behind his toilet, is sitting down, going to the bathroom, and uh, in a display of just wanton abandoned for hygiene, is talking on his phone and getting all of those bathroom germs all over his phone. I mean, he's gonna whip that thing out of his pocket, the phone, I mean. He's gonna whip that thing out of his pocket when he's in public, and those germs are gonna be there. And even though he thinks he's washed his hands, and he thinks that he's clean and germ-free, he's not, because they're all over his phone. Because he made the fatal mistake of using his phone, and Jesus, I, I don't even, I, I feel sick. All right, and uh, last, and uh, well, I, I was gonna say, and not least, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is by Duper Saiyan, uh, titled, Booty had me like. This is a picture of a clown uh, who sort of looks like, <laughs> kind of looks like Tony, uh, and uh, and it's like he's you know booty had me like just one kiss, Eduardo with like a winking face, baby please, and uh, he's like holding some sunglasses and stuff, and uh, again this th these are the kind of things that you can expect to see on um, slash r slash sips in a good way. I mean, these all actually genuinely made me laugh uh, when I saw them. Uh, so I thought I would share them with you just to, just to show you that Tony Bateman in himself is becoming a movement. It is actually becoming a full-fledged movement and it's exciting. It's very exciting. Um, so there you go. Excellent. All right, so there you go. Um, sorry about that. I just thought I would share those things with you. Um, things that genuinely made me laugh recently uh, that I thought I would share with you. In case you're not following me on Twitter uh, or slash r slash sips, um, there you go. You have that now. Uh, you're probably scarred for life. But like I said, download that stuff if you want it from the community. It's all there. Uh, if you don't own the game, hopefully that was somewhat interesting for you to see that there is the possibility of actually downloading stuff that your friends make and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that that was in all the other Sims. I never really made much use of it. Uh, this time I will certainly be making use of it. Um, I haven't actually recorded the next episode yet. Next episode I will record soon though. Uh, I got some plans for it and uh, it'll probably be up uh, at some point next week. It's not going to be like a really consistent like every second day sort of series. Um, I'll just do them as and when and I think it'll be more fun that way. I think it'll be more fun to sort of like take the feedback into account. Uh, and do some of this stuff with the fan art and just just have like a bit of interactivity so far It's gone really well, and it's been really fun It's just been really really nice getting a whole bunch of like stuff from you guys on Twitter and reddit and stuff And it feels like we're connecting and interacting and all that kind of stuff is really 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 good uh, It's it's really made me happy uh, And it's something that I want to continue to do uh, for sure let me know if you like it as well. Um, just leave me a comment. Leave me something on Reddit. Leave likes and stuff like that. If you like the videos that you're watching with Tony Bateman, the series or whatever, support the series. Leave, leave a like. It really, really helps. You wouldn't believe how much it helps. Uh, and it's always appreciated as well. Um, including this video too. If you like this and you want to see me do some more stuff like this as well, uh, leave a like, comment. Let me know. Uh, it's the only way that I can get feedback from you guys, uh, apart from like sifting through just like thousands of notifications on on Twitter and stuff like that, which I don't always have time to do. Uh, but YouTube comments, uh, Reddit discussions, threads, uh, comments and stuff like that, uh, I generally browse through. So that's probably the best way to like get my attention and let me know what you like, what you don't like, all that good stuff. 
Great. Well, that's it for me for now. Uh, I hope that I've given you like a whole bunch of updates. Um, I'm back from LA. The uh, Anki stuff was really cool. It was really fun. I met a lot of really great people. Uh, and there's some more videos of that coming soon. There's like a training day video coming. And then there's the actual Grand Prix, the like the event itself. You'll have like all of our perspectives from that too. Uh, and it was just really, really good fun. We were only in LA for like three or four days. Uh, it went really quick, but man, we had a blast. It was really great. Uh, and we'd love to do something like that again uh, for something else or even for Anki again. Uh, it was just really, really, really fun. Uh, and you'll see in the training day videos and the Grand Prix and stuff. Uh, it was great. Other than that, BlizzCon coming up soon. A uh, couple of weeks, pretty psyched. New expansion for WoW, pretty stoked. Uh, there's just all sorts of shit happening like before Christmas, uh, which is nice. It's really exciting time. So a whole bunch of cool stuff happening. Uh, so I'm look looking forward to all that. Um, but yeah, uh, if there's anything else, I'll be back. Do like another vlog or whatever, uh, or something like in this format where we show off some stuff that people have done or whatever. Um, and until then, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.